Are the old gods actually the three-eyed raven? The universe of Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon are full of incredible creatures. From dragons that can soar through the skies, to women who can live for more than 400 years. But perhaps the most interesting thing about this universe is the magical influence on the characters by some of the gods. Which leads us to wonder if these gods are in fact nothing more than people with powers influencing the events of Westeros. This video is the beginning of a series of videos where we will be analyzing all the gods of the universe of A Song of Ice and Fire. And perhaps in the end, we can understand who is truly pulling the strings behind the scenes. Today we will be talking about one of the first gods mentioned in this universe, and who are considered the first gods in Westeros. I'm talking about the old gods. Also, I will be revealing what I really believe these entities are that hide behind the faces of the trees. So if you want to know what these gods are, what is said about them in the books, and how they might fit into the great magical battle that exists in this world, well stay tuned to this video because we will be delving deeper into these topics. And for more videos from the universe of Game of Thrones, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome. To the Three-Eyed Raven. When we first heard about the old gods in Game of Thrones, it was thanks to the Stark family, who worshipped these ancient deities and continue to perform rituals. When Game of Thrones begins, there are few noble families in Westeros who serve the old gods. And over time, these gods have been losing influence and power. However, it is the old gods who may hold the secret to the magical war in this world. To understand what I am talking about, we must transport ourselves to the Book of the World of Ice and Fire, where we are told in depth, not only about the old gods, but also about the rituals and their servants. Part of the book says the following. The children of the forest worship those nameless gods, who would eventually become those of the first men, the countless deities of the rivers, the forests and the stones. It was them, the children, who carved faces into the weirwoods, perhaps to give eyes to their gods, who could then see how they were worshipped. There are also those who say, with scarce foundation, that the green seers, the wise men of the children, were able to see through the eyes of the carved weirwoods. This is supposedly proved to have been so believed by the first men whose fear of being spied upon by the Weirwoods led them to cut down a large part of the carved trees. There are several interesting things here. As it is mentioned that children of the forest, as we knew them in Game of Thrones, carved the faces of the trees to give a visual form to those deities or spirits that inhabited near these trees. This means, the children of the forest possibly started having visions or hearing things when they approached these Weirwoods which led them to carve out their eyes. It doesn't mean that the gods actually need the eyes to see through the trees, I think it is something more symbolic. But this shows that the entities that were connected to these trees could be influencing the destiny of this world even before the arrival of men. Speaking of the first men, in the books it is mentioned that they arrived in Westeros more than 12,000 years ago and that they found these trees with the carved faces and realized that they were used by the children of the forest to spy, or perhaps increase their power, which led the first men to start cutting them down. This is where the first great war between the men and the children of the forest began, one that would later lead to the creation of the White Walkers, because the trees were so important to the children of the forest that they were willing to fight a war and create such terrifying beings as the White Walkers to protect them. Let's assume for a moment then, that a person discovers the secret of how to connect to these weirwoods using magic to extend his life. Who are the old gods then? So here comes perhaps a theory of which Mushroom would be proud. According to the books, after the men signed a peace treaty with the children of the forest, and after Aegon conquered Westeros, most of the noble houses in Westeros abandoned their beliefs in the old gods. However, some houses, such as House Blackwood of the Raven Tree, 
kept their faith in these gods. In the last episode of House of the Dragon, when Daemon touched the Weirwood tree, he saw a Blackwood who might be controlling the network of trees. This Blackwood is Brynden Rivers, son of Melissa Blackwood, who as a child knew the rituals of the Weirwoods. We saw him in Daemon's vision sitting in the tree, and he subsequently becomes the Three-Eyed Raven, recruiting Bran Stark as his successor. Let's assume for a moment then, that a person discovers the secret of how to connect to these Weirwoods using magic to extend his life, and connect into this spiritual network. Perhaps Brynden from a young age studied how to harness the magic of these trees, something he would use after he was exiled to the north. I think at that point, Brynden becomes the voices influencing the past, present, and future, looking for a person worthy of being able to change the past. Someone like Bran Stark. I think the old gods must be Brynden Rivers or the successors of the Three-Eyed Raven, who have always watched through the trees whispering in the ears of the children of the forest, so that they created the White Walkers, and now they are whispering in Damon's ear to change history again. I think the magical war in this universe is just beginning. But everything points to the fact that these old gods have actually always been green seers like Brynden, Bran, or Helena herself, who have managed to connect to the trees to try to change a destiny whose ink was thought to be dry. But Bran may have changed this. Now what evidence do we have that the Old Gods are really the Three-Eyed Raven? In Game of Thrones we saw when Bran called his father in a vision, and his father heard him. And we also saw in House of the Dragon, when a voice said the word, Traitor, where Daemon and Ser Alfred Broom were near the Weirwood Tree. I think this is evidence enough to show that the Green Seers are really those whispers heard near the trees and that the children of the forest believed they were gods, and subsequently, it was those voices that led the children of the forest to create the White Walkers. I think that in studying the history of the early gods of Westeros, the evidence against the Three-Eyed Raven does not look good at all, and it would seem that he is even behind the religions in this world, because if the source of the Three-Eyed Raven's power are the Weirwoods, then it would make sense why he would create the White Walkers in an attempt to protect his beloved trees in the Temporal War. And the evidence that perhaps it has been Brynden Rivers whispering in the ears of the children of the forest from the beginning is that the only time we see them is when they were protecting the Three-Eyed Raven. It's as if their only purpose currently is to serve this entity that lives inside a tree. But of course, we will continue to investigate the rest of the religions of this world trying to find these connections to try to make sense of the story because after the Game of Thrones there is a magical struggle and only the prince that was promised will be able to free us from the long night that is coming. And I'll say something that hasn't been said in 12,000 years. I think it's time to start cutting down the Weirwoods. But tell me, what do you think of all this? What do you think about the old gods? Could they actually be the three-eyed raven trying to manipulate from a web that connects in the past? present and future? What other god in the Game of Thrones universe do you want us to talk about? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos of theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.